Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Rise Star. We're on round six, Planet Automaton. Now, on this planet, this is pretty much where uh, the difficulty starts to go absolutely through the roof. Uh, it's very, very easy to die in these places unless you know what you're doing. So, um, all right, the gimmick here is that uh, these little pipes will go like they'll recede or uh, come back out whenever you hit the the grab button. So sometimes that can be a little bit of a hindrance, but what I always found to do is just to go as far to the right as possible and then go up. And uh, that'll usually give you a way through. I don't know how you're not supposed to take damage from that, but whatever. So here we're going to find some anti-gravity shoes that'll let us swim through the air here. Uh, there is actually an invisible water level uh, that will decrease throughout time. So, you know, don't waste your time too much here, but you don't want to go too fast either or you'll take too much damage. Uh, there's health recovery in here. Oh no, never mind, that's points. I thought that was a health recovery. Alright, so let's try not to take too many hits here. I'm gonna go kinda slowly. Uh, you definitely want to deal with this thing on top first. Or you will get hit trying to go through here. Alright, now let's grab it. And as we uh, go over here to the left, this is actually where the bonus lever is. Okay, I guess I managed to get through there somehow without taking a hit. I could have swore I was going to die right there, but man, that was pretty crazy. Alright, so here's our bonus lever. We can just kind of swing through the platforms. And uh, I think, uh, thankfully, another good thing is that your health gets refilled after you do a bonus area, so... <laughs> that's, that's another good reason for doing these. Now, this one is actually incredibly easy for some reason. I don't know why they made this one so easy after making, uh, after the 5-2 bonus level. I mean, that, that was actually pretty difficult. And the 6-2 and the bonus level, just forget about it if you've never done it before. I mean, it's going to take you a few tries through this game in order to figure it out, pretty much. Alright, let's make our way down through here, swing around, and the treasure chest is right there. And if we can grab it, if we can grab it, there we are. <laughs> you still kind of bounce up and down, but he holds on to it, which is good. I mean, you know, I, I did that in just a little over 20 seconds, and I wasted, you know, quite a bit of time through there, too, so... Uh, I don't know why they made that one so easy, but oh well. So now our anti-gravity shoes have run out. Our invisible water level has decreased all the way. So just head to the right as far as you can. Eventually, you'll reach these spikes where you can't go any further. Uh, you want to actually climb up through this, using your uh, grab to bonk against the wall. And uh, just... <laughs> basically just hope you can grab it. And there we go. Made it through there without a hit, so... That's not that hard when you have a little bit of practice at it, but uh, it, it can be difficult. And, uh, you know, don't, don't fool yourself into thinking that's really easy or anything. Alright, now we swing back and forth, grab onto it, and grab onto the next one. This is actually probably the cleanest I've ever went through this level. So when we get here, this is kind of an awesome thing. I still love this part. Boom! You kind of go through the wall there. It's pretty awesome. Alright, now this mini-boss has like a series of uh, formations that he likes to go in. For this one, stand over here to the left, and you can just grab it when he comes on top. Now, uh, next should be, I think it's a circle is next, yeah. And this one is actually probably the hardest one to do without taking damage. So the next up we have cross. And just stand at the bottom left and then grab to, uh, up and to the right whenever he lands. The next one is sort of this horizontal circle. Stand underneath him and grab him as soon as that, like, hitting the ground sound plays. And now I think he's going to go back to the straight line formation one more time. We hit him this time and uh, finish him off. So, you know, once you, like, know what places you need to stand and when you need to grab, uh, that guy is actually not bad at all. Uh, the circle formation is, in my mind, definitely the hardest. Because, it, I mean, it seems kind of random with all those things circling around. I don't know how you'd be able to get in there without taking damage. So the next area is the Brain Maze. And the Brain Maze, I've got to say, is probably the coolest level in this game. Uh, there's a whole bunch of new mechanics that are going to be introduced here. Uh, you want to throw the crystals into the little square thing to activate this teleporter. You're going to fight a few enemies along the way here. Uh, this guy's pretty easy. Then just go up and left. I missed, but <laughs> thankfully I got him on the way back. We activate our next teleporter, and then uh, in this next room here, we're going to have this little moving platform. Uh, we're going to be... This is basically... The first few rooms are pretty much just an introduction like to, for what to expect throughout the rest of this level. Uh, there's going to be a room with four of those later on. It can be a little complicated, but it's really easy if you know the right way to do it. 
So uh, obviously with that thing you get teleported into the background, which I gotta say is pretty awesome. <laughs> it's such it's such a fun concept. I mean, you know, there's so many new things in this level that you think, all right, I, you know, I've been through like what is it, 11 levels up to this point. It's like what new things could they possibly throw at me? But there's a whole bunch of new stuff in here, which is pretty awesome. So they give you a health recovery in case you need it, which I don't, but I'll take it anyway just for the heck of it. So now this uh, this guy, you got to hit him whenever his foot is off the ground, which will knock him off balance. Uh, you can't damage him any other way, he's just invulnerable to everything else. So you just have to keep knocking him back until uh, he hits that wall. Now here's that room with the four platforms I was talking about. Basically, I just stick with this, uh, this one right here. And, ah, crap, I screwed that up. Okay, I'm just going to wait for it to come back. Because I don't want to go... You can't actually get squished and have instant death. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Now we can go up to that teleporter. Basically, just don't fool with the rest of the platforms. Just use that first one. Now here you want to grab the background. I got lucky and the crystal was there on the first try. But uh, sometimes orb bots will fall down. Sometimes uh, that large green enemy that like jumped around everywhere will fall down. So it's, it's pretty much random which one's which. Now here, they this really isn't necessary at all. I mean, there's... There's actually two exits in this place. There's like a top exit that's way up here. I'll just bonk the rest of the way. And see, there's that exit. And there's also this bottom one over here. It really doesn't matter which one you take. I mean, they both lead to the same place. So, it really doesn't matter. Here, just jump over the missiles that these guys shoot. Uh, it's not that hard. They, they're they in evenly spaced intervals, so you don't have to worry about it too much. <laughs> Except, you know, jumping on the missile launcher will do to some damage, too. So then we, uh, that's the last one here. I don't remember what the next room is. I don't remember, like, the order of these rooms particularly. Alright, this one. So basically, whenever you knock out this little column, orb bots will start falling around. But the easy way to deal with this room is to just sit here and swing. Uh, you'll, you know, you'll kill the enemies that get near you and you can't be damaged. Uh, if, if you want to be, you know, like, hardcore about it, you can just try to do it regularly without swinging around. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't advise it for trying to complete the game. Alright, what we got in here? We have another health recovery, so I'm back at max health again. And we're in the background yet again. You can actually use this lever here uh, and swing yourself around and then just go up and to the left in order to get to the teleporter. There's like a whole uh, area over to the right you don't even have to explore that way. So now the bonus lever for this area is up here in this area to the top left. This kind of reminds me of uh, uh, this one level that I think was in the desert of Super Mario Bros. 3. There's like a like a space you can go up and to the left. Wow, I don't know how I made that. That was crazy. Okay, so whenever we uh, go in there, then we get this bonus lever. And let me tell you, this bonus area is just absolutely crazy. Uh, you'll see as soon as we get into it. Uh, just how hard this really is. Basically, the first time I did this, I could not clear this jump. Basically, what you have to do is bounce yourself against the wall and then grab the like the upper wall up there to get yourself over that. You know, I mean, that's just so incredibly hard to figure out. You pretty much have to use the whole uh, bouncing against the wall thing to your advantage everywhere in this bonus area. Now, this is incredibly hard, uh, trying to go back and forth here. Uh, just like that, and... Okay, I screwed that up, so let's get back over here. Up here. Alright. And... Oh, man, that's that's the hardest thing to grab onto. This isn't good, I'm running out of time. And grab it. No! Alright, come on, I gotta do this. Alright, grabbed it. Get over there, get the chest, get the chest! All right, with 4.89 seconds left, I managed to pull it off. I mean, like I said, that bonus area is just incredibly difficult. It's mind-boggling how hard that is to actually do. Uh, I'm lucky I actually got it because, uh, you know, I think I said earlier, if you fail uh, the bonus area, it doesn't show back up afterwards. And I kind of screwed up the height bonus there, but oh well. Who cares at this point, man? I finished that bonus game. Uh, we're at the boss of Automaton now, which is Uranum Power. And uh, right from the start, this guy's going to throw stuff at you. Just jump whenever you see him throw on the TV screens back there. And basically, the easy way to do this is just keep hitting him. And uh, whenever he goes down, jump over him and the crane will uh, land on him. It's also another way that you uh, you can do this. It's probably the way you were intended to do this. 
uh, whenever he falls down, let the crane come over here and then hit it, and it'll go over on him. Like, that's probably the way it was intended to be done, but I like to just uh, jump over him and let the crane do the work by itself, because <laughs> I think it's funnier, you know? Oh, man. This guy's actually hitting me. All right, there we go. Now, I'll jump over him again, and let's... Uh, we gotta do this without taking any damage here. There we go, that finished him off. And, uh, he explodes in a blaze of glory, but still gets picked up by the crane. Uh, so there's kind of that alien guy in the window back there. He's not quite our main villain, but, uh, he will be pretty soon, I guess. Uh, for the moment, anyway. Uh, yeah, they got away, Rystar. What are we gonna do about it? Well, let's chase after them. So that is Planet Automaton Clear. We've now actually gone through all of the, uh, technical planet levels. Um, there's still, like I said, there's still a little bit to do afterwards. We got our couple of bosses that we need to kill. So, uh, I guess I'll just see you guys in the next part where we'll, uh, we'll take care of that. So until then, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time.